I made a video a few weeks ago about Clemson's 2023 wide receiver recruiting class. And in that video, I reacted to the film of all four of our wide receiver signees, Noble Johnson, Ronan Hannafin, Tyler Brown, and Myson Kelly. I had very high opinions of Noble, Hannafin, and Brown. While I was pretty unfairly critical of Myson Kelly, and I say unfairly because in that, uh, in that video, I simply just watched his junior tape, which had very few wide receiver highlights. You know, Myson's a guy from Daniel High School, literally in Clemson, that really just, you know, he played all over the place with them. Raw receiver, running back, cornerback, safety. He was all over the field. And most of his junior tape was on defense. And I believe that ultimately the position that he's going to play at Clemson will be corner. And Clemson signed him as a wide receiver. And I just didn't see a lot of it on tape. But I have just recently watched his senior highlight tape. And there are a lot more wide receiver reps. And so I wanted to make a video correcting myself because I really think this kid can develop into a really, really good wide receiver for Clemson. And so we're just going to write in the tape and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So the first word that comes to my mind uh, really is just athlete. This kid is, is clearly really special with the ball in his hands. He's one of those guys that can score anytime they touch the ball. And you can see that obviously on tape, on plays like this, reversing fields, just the ability to score anytime you touch the ball is just something we haven't had in receivers in the past. You know, we've had guys that have been very, very tall, vertical outside threats at wide receiver. You go back to that 2021 season and we're starting Justin Ross, Joseph and God and Frank Latz and all guys that are six foot four. We really needed more guys like Myson Kelly or like a Tyler Brown that we also signed. Just look at what Antonio Williams did for us last year. He led our team in receiving as a true freshman and he really is a guy cut from the same cloth that Myson Kelly and Tyler Brown are, or I should say they're cut from the same cloth that he is. You know, when I watch Myson's tape, honestly, the thing, the person that comes to my mind is, is Arteva Scott. That's what I see on, on tape, you know, plays like this. This is Arteva Scott to me. And what's funny is Arteva is already on the staff. He's an assistant wide receiver coach. So to be able to learn from a guy who reminds me so much of him is, is, is pretty awesome for Myson. He has that similar skill set. He's probably not the fastest guy from a straight line speed perspective, but he's football fast. He certainly is great after the catch. I mean, we can all remember Artavis Scott torching South Carolina on those jet sweeps back in 2014. That's the type of player that Myson Kelly is. When I watch him on tape, that's what I see. And I still think he can develop into a really good corner, right? Because because that's on his highlight tape as well. And you can see these plays right here, closing on the ball. Here, here he is lined up at safety. Like I said, he, he really did play all over the place. This is what I mean by he's just an athlete. He can do a lot of different things for them, or for Clemson at least. You see him playing corner off the edge right here, blitzing, tackle in the backfield. I mean, he's he's a special athlete, really going to play uh, all over the place for us. Here he is at, at running back. Again, put the ball in his hands, and he just makes plays. I mean, Sif arm, finishing, balance. This is the Artavis Scott I see in him. This type of, of playmaking ability is, uh, is special. And you didn't see this a lot on his junior tape. This is what I missed in my evaluation of him. And he's certainly way more advanced in his route running. I mean, just sticks his foot in the ground, easy pant, plant inside release on this corner, stood no chance. Or even this route right here. Foot in the ground, turns, just a beautiful route, beautiful ball by the quarterback, runs underneath it, easy touchdown. This, these corners can't obviously play this kid one-on-one. -on -one. He's so much further developed in the route running than I originally thought. And I really like the way he attacks the ball. And, and, and honestly, he's going to bring this physicality to the wide receiver position that we don't really have. You know, this kid that played a lot of defense, he's going to bring that physicality with him. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited because he honestly fits perfectly in Garrett Riley's scheme. And, and I can't wait to see how Garrett Riley utilizes this kid's skill set. He's going to find ways to get this kid the ball in his hands. And you can see on his tape, he's special with the ball in his hands. You know, a lot of Clemson fans have a tendency to react negatively to guys that Clemson offers late in the recruiting process, especially in-state guys as well. I've seen that a lot on online, Twitter, social media, TigerNet. I see it a lot. And, and we certainly offered Myson late. But we have to understand that Dabo personally watched this kid develop over several years at Daniel. I mean, he plays with Dabo's son. And so 
you know, if I judged Myson solely off of his junior tape, you know, it would be hard for me to justify offering him as a wide receiver. Certainly, I think he could have been a good corner, no doubt about it. But just as a wide receiver, it would have been hard for me to justify offering him just based off that junior tape. But his senior tape speaks for itself. And I'm sure this is why Dabo eventually offers this kid. Dabo witnessed the kid's development over several years at Daniel. And the development at wide receiver just from his junior tape to his senior tape is honestly impressive to me. And I believe we're looking at a very underrated wide receiver signee. You know, I would say the same thing about a guy like Tyler Brown. You know, in that video, in that wide receiver video that I made, I thought Tyler Brown looked like a guy who should have been a four-star wide receiver recruit. Both of these kids come from the upstate, and they have a chance to be really, really good wide receivers for us. And South Carolina as a state, you know, we've put together some really special guys in the past. You look at guys like Newt Hopkins, who also came from Daniel High School, Martavis Bryant, Sharon Peak, Adam Humphreys, Mike Williams, Hunter Renfro, Antonio Williams, and then Adam Randall. The de you know, development they're going to have from the Garrett Riley is going to be special. And then you go to, go to guys like at a rival school at South Carolina, Alshon Jeffrey, Debo Samuel, Brian Edwards, those guys from South Carolina. This state has produced some very high-quality wide receivers, and I believe Myson has the ability to cement himself in that name as well, just like Tyler Brown does. Obviously, the college game is a lot different than high school, and so the athletes are just going to get a lot better. The margin for error gets a lot smaller. So what's going to separate this kid from the rest is his ability to work really hard. Work ethic is going to become the most important thing for this kid. And if this kid is serious, then he definitely has a shot. You know, if he gets to campus, puts his head down, really goes to work, yeah, this kid has a chance to develop into a future NFL player. And, you know, I, I, good things I've heard from interviews like with, with uh, Tyler Grisham is that this kid does work hard. And so if he brings that work ethic, he's got a chance to develop – He's going to look great in this offense with Garrett Riley calm plays, utilizing that skill set. So I can't wait to see how this kid develops at Clemson. We've got some, we've had some great players coming out of Daniel High School in the past, and honestly I have no doubts now after watching the tape that this kid can develop into another great wide receiver and be another great product from that Daniel pipeline. All right, go Tigers.